morning, happy Monday, and welcome to a new weekly vlog. As you can tell, my voice is absolutely not here with us today and hasn't been for the past couple of days. I had a pretty bad cold. I'm just getting over it and have literally been just taking as many meds as I could. We started with a sore throat, then just like coughing and then body aches, and it was just like not a fun time. Definitely wasn't COVID, but still just not a great time. So I'm still suffering from the voice, but I'm hoping it gets better today. But I literally had a coffee date scheduled for today and I didn't want to reschedule because I'm definitely feeling a lot better. It's just like my voice is not there. Um, but after the coffee date, I'm going to do some minimal talking. In less than 10 days, we will be going to Italy, which is insane. Like it does not feel real at all. And I'm freaking out. Yesterday, me and Ryan were kind of like just thinking about it and we were like, wait, we're going to Italy and we're not going to be able to just take a backpack because we're going for a wedding and we're going to have to take like, you know, nice wedding clothes, but then we're going to be there for two weeks. So there's no way we're packing a small suitcase for two weeks in Italy. No way, especially for me. I'm not a minimal packer anyway, so I was not planning on doing that. But an important task for today is to just make sure that everything is ordered for what I need for Italy because I think I tried to order some stuff yesterday and it said it would like ship or get delivered like four days before we leave. And it's just getting a little too close, so I'm gonna give myself a deadline of today to like get everything ordered. I'm meeting up with a new friend named Caitlin at Soho House. I personally don't have a membership to Soho House here in Austin, but every time anyone invites me, I always say yes, because why not? It is stunning in there. So I'm gonna pack my bag, head to South Congress and meet Caitlin. Today is laundry day, so that is why there's so much background noise, but I stopped by Goriana on the way home because I saw a really pretty ring on their website and I was like, I want to check it out before I like purchase it online and plus I was literally on South Congress and there's a Goriana store on South Congress, so I thought I would check it out in person. I ended up really liking it, so I got it in the store and this is what it looks like. These little, um, what do you call them, like crystals, pendants, I don't even know. They are actually topaz, so they're not actually real diamond, but they are stone. Stones, yeah, that's what you call them. Um, but I think it's so dainty and beautiful. I got a size 8. This ring is also Goriana. It's the Laney ring. I'm not sure what this is called, actually. I could probably see. No? I don't even know what this one's called. Hmm. But... I thought it was the perfect addition. I literally always have Goriana jewelry on. All of my bracelets are Goriana, and most of the time my necklaces and earrings are Goriana. Although these both are studs. This little cactus one, and then this little huggy, I think they're both studs. But other than that, Goriana everything. I feel like I'm very brand loyal whenever I like find a good brand for like a specific item. I usually like stick to that brand. Um, but right now I'm going to attempt to clean my filming room, which I swear I've been saying this for at least four weeks now that it was gonna be done at the end of the week and it never got done. So today, I swear it's gonna be the day. It is my priority, we're gonna get it done. Let's get to work. Still in the process of cleaning my filming room, but I wanted to open this Amazon package because I got some organizers for the bathroom. I want to like really organize my skincare and everything. So I got, looks like I'm gonna have to set it up. So I got these acrylic display stands so that I can put my skincare on these and actually see them in my cabinet. So I'm really excited about these. I still have to like put these in them and actually like have them stand up but I'm 
so excited to get organizing because God knows that I need it in there. It's looking really good right now and I just noticed that I think you can like customize the shelves and how far up they are but I don't know how to like take them off because I feel like this shelf is just a little too big for this you know I would like it to be a little further up so that there's like a little more room here just like evenly divided because I've had to put the skincare on top just because I feel like I go for skincare more and then I put the hair care one all the way at the bottom and then I have a lot of like nail supplies which I feel like I can get rid of some of them and then yeah don't know what to do right here because I feel like the nail stuff could go down there so still got some thinking to do about these two shelves and then up there I have like my Dyson Airwrap case that I literally never touch. I pulled some products for whenever I see my friends next. I'm gonna have them like go through it and see what they want. And then the other stuff is just kind of like miscellaneous that I wanna take into the other bathroom. Um, just like shower stuff and things that I actually wanna use more often that I like kind of forgot about. But now that I'm seeing it, I'm like, wait, why have I not used this in so long? It's been over three hours and I'm not all the way finished yet just because I have some makeup bags that I need to go through. But other than that, everything's done on the shelves behind me. So let me give you guys a little tour. So starting on the bottom shelf, I decided to put my hair care here because there's only two really big shelves and I wanted my skincare a little bit higher up. So we have all of my favorite hair care and then I have this nail polish organizer back here which is amazing it's kind of like a suitcase briefcase kind of dealio um and i have all my nail polish organized in there the acrylic stand right here and this nail polish organizer is going to be linked on my amazon storefront under get organized then coming up here we have more nail polish and my press-ons and all of that kind of stuff and then coming up here, we have my Dyson Airwrap in the back. I switched it and just brought it down over here. And then I got this little organizer from TJ Maxx a while ago. And then I'm not sure where this lipstick thing came from, but I had this. So I just kind of put some sheet masks, some scrunchies, some cotton balls, and this vase I had. Then we have some pore strips and some pimple patches. And then of course I have my dermaplaning tool which is also from Amazon. And then last but not least is the skincare shelf. And I am obsessed with this. It looks seriously so aesthetically pleasing. I could literally stare at this for hours. Let's just hope it stays like this because it is stunning. I just have that up there. I have those from my birthday party and I kind of just wanted to keep them in case we needed them for like any summer parties or anything like that. So this is an overview and yeah, just really hoping it stays like this. I just need to tell myself Put things back where you found them. It is Tuesday and today's been an admin day because I didn't have any shoots yesterday. So I really wanted to make sure I got every photo shoot edited from last week before I like start my shoots for this week. Although there has been, I think there's two girls that haven't really picked their edits. For me, I like to have my clients pick their edits. Like I give them the whole unedited gallery of course with my watermark on top of it but I really like when they pick their own photos because I never know like you know maybe they don't like this side of their face or maybe they don't really like that pose that I thought they looked good and you know everyone has kind of their own insecurities so that's kind of how I do it um but yeah so I'm just waiting on them to send their edits and then I can like finish those off it is 92 degrees outside and I am dreading going outside, even walking Sophie this morning. I was like getting my sweaty upper lip. It is sweaty upper lip season because right when you walk outside, it just starts doing its thing, which is so annoying. But I have a package from Bandier. I thought it was lost and it kind of was at first, but my apartment complex found it. So thank God, because I was really upset at first, but I wanted to open it up because I got some stuff from their family and friends sale. I want to say it was like discounted 30% off or 20% off. I can't really remember, but I got two sets and then I can't remember what else. So let's open it and see what it looks like in person. So these are the Luca High Rise Leggings in Chocolate. And this brand, what is the brand? Lay Or. I've never heard of them before, but 
their sets really intrigued me. It honestly looks very similar to Lululemon, like on the back of the leggings, that design right there. And it feels very nice, like super high quality for sure. And then I got a matching top. I really liked this top because it's more of a structured feel, almost like a corset. I don't even know, like a bustier. Not really sure how to describe it, but I really liked the way it looks, but it's still like stretchy, you know, it doesn't feel super structured. And yeah, so I thought that was cute. And then I saw the screen set and you guys already know I had to pick this one up. So this is from the same brand. So still that same kind of structured look. And you can kind of see the back has this like mesh part on the bottom, which I don't know, I just feel like that's really unique. And then these are the matching bottoms. So I just got some biker shorts and I'm kind of regretting getting the other ones in leggings because it's literally 92 degrees out and I need to not wear any clothes pretty much. Like I need to just literally go in a tank and shorts and call it a day. But look how freaking cute that is. That's going to look so good. And then I got a tank top like some basics it's always good to have some basics so let's see what the quality looks like okay so this is from the brand wesley it's w-s-l-e and it's just like a little white tank it is kind of see-through so i think i'm gonna have to wear some sticky boobs with it or like a bra ew <laughs> i didn't get a boob lift for nothing you know i don't love wearing bras anymore but I think this is going to be so cute. So I'm probably going to try on everything later on because it is currently 3.31. Grad shoot is at 4.50 and I should probably leave a little bit before that because today I'm shooting a cheerleader and I've never shot a cheerleader at UT and we're going to be shooting on the field too. And I don't think anyone can just get on the field and like take pics. So this is going to be really, really cool. I'll try to like get some iPhone clips for you guys. Um, but I really wish I had my voice back. It's taken a while because I have to film some sponsored Instagram stories and I like don't want to sound sick because I know I'm not going to be sick when they go up, you know, so it's going to sound like stupid and not just like consistent, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so I told the brand, I was like, hey, I need a couple more days to get my voice back. Um, so I hope they like don't think of it as like just an excuse for me to like buy time. I, I literally cannot clear my throat to get it back, but I'm going to change because I'm literally in sweats and a sweatshirt. And if I go out in this, I will actually die. Ever since switching to my Stanley cup, I have not been able to take like water to my grad shoots because obviously the Stanley cups open on the top. So getting my hydro flask back out finally and now i can actually be hydrated while i shoot especially today it's 92 degrees like i said and probably higher now and i'm like literally so scared <laughs> and then i also put on the unseen sunscreen from Supergoop. i'm just gonna pack this in my camera bag because i know me i'm gonna like get to my grad shoots and be like fuck i forgot sunscreen so putting that in my bag got my water bottle need to bring chapstick and wallet and keys and then i'm gonna head out could have been so much worse too it's only 95 degrees and i feel like austin gets so much hotter oh god it's only gonna get hotter from now on and i am i don't even know if i'm halfway through grad season i mean i guess i am since i'm taking a trip in the middle i don't have like as many slots as last year but like look how much i'm sweating i just felt the first back drop sweat wait what is what am i saying back sweat yeah roll down my back oh disgusting but also like you know like you just kind of like embrace it here in austin <laughs> especially you know like i'm dressed like this so it's fine but oh god i'm i don't know if i'm ready for this like literally in the summer if you want me to be outside i need to be like within 25 feet of a body of water it can be the ladybird lake a pool a shower 
like literally anything but I do not go outside until I'm forced to or it's like the morning or the evening because it's just so brutal and I feel like I forget this every single summer and yeah just not a great feeling and I ran out of water so you know how I was saying that I brought my hydro flask out of retirement maybe it's going back into retirement because I don't like the bigger ones because they never fit in my freaking car thing oh wait actually I have a yeti but that doesn't have like a straw thing it's like a twist off and I hate twist off things so freaking inconvenient so maybe I'm gonna buy a yeti straw thing otherwise I'm gonna have to carry around my stanley cup because it's like so huge and I feel like I won't go through that I literally ran out of water through my second shoe and I was dying also the allergies also made me even worse like now my voice is like even worse and I'm like I'm just trying to get better so I'm gonna go home take a nice cold shower drink a gallon of ice cold water and chill and probably edit photos and just get my life together or or not honestly I feel like I was very productive today so maybe I can grant myself some TikTok time after my shower and I, I don't even like feel hungry. What is this? What is this? I don't even know. I don't really like, I just want water. That's all I want. Okay, I'm gonna go home before I literally die of dehydration. Good morning, it is Wednesday and I just got done with a shoe. I literally like ended the last vlog clip at a shoe yesterday, but I went home and showered and I felt so much better and it was like the best shower of my life, you know? Cause once you feel like just sweaty and dirty, it's just like, ugh disgusting anyways i am gonna go meet a new friend for coffee and we're gonna go to lucky lab which is right around ut i've actually had it on my bucket list for a really long time because they have like some really cool drinks and just uh i think like matcha she said the chai there was like really good so i'm very excited to finally be trying it out i saw the girl that i'm meeting today on tiktok and i realized she lives in austin so i reached out and we are hanging out today and i'm really excited to meet her in person her content is more more like very aesthetic like mini vlogs which I'm like literally obsessed with but every time I try to do it it just takes so long to like get ready like it's so much extra time on my routine of the day and I'm just like trying to get ready fast so that's why I like never really do them on TikTok but I love when I do them and I feel like they do really well usually so maybe I just need to suck it up and like actually do them her name's Katarina and I will put her TikTok profile in the description sun behind you yeah. you're glowing okay this is Katarina hi I'm Katarina and we got chai. some chai cheers, cheers. <laughs> and I got a little croissant and then she got a pop tart which her pop tart, tart looks so good yeah. Yeah. I got strawberry pop tart they make it here oh my god it's so looks good. amazing <laughs> I just drove over to Barton Creek Mall because I have to get something at Sephora for a brand deal. It's kind of weird though because like usually, you know, brands gift you the products that you're supposed to be talking about and if they don't gift you it, they'll like reimburse you. I'm not talking directly like with the brand. It's kind of like through this third party app. So they're unsure if I'm going to get a reimbursement, which is kind of weird because I'm like, I mean, yeah, you're paying me, but I feel like you should definitely be reimbursing me for the product. So kind of weird but I'm gonna go in and get it and then also just like take a look at some other stuff because the Sephora sale is going on I'm really sad because I really wanted to post a whole video of my recommendations for the Sephora sale but it's honestly so frustrating just like to talk with this voice I mean it doesn't really sound that bad when I hear myself back like if I'm talking on my stories but it like is just so frustrating because it's like not all the way there yet so I I'm not gonna do that video, but there's so many other recommendation videos on my channel already. Like I've been doing them since college, honestly. So you can literally just search like Sephora, sale, and then my name and my videos should pop up. I was just filming a sponsored TikTok for this brand called Beauty Bio. And I've honestly not heard of them until they reached out. All of their products were so intriguing that I was like, I have to try them out. This is like a micro needling tool. What the heck? And you like roll it on your face. 
I think you have to like put something on it before you use that. But this is what I was really intrigued by, even though that was pretty intriguing itself. Okay, this is like the glass and the gloss. This is an exfoliator and then this gloss part is the hydrating part. So this is what it looks like and it's like a jelly consistency almost, but it's more liquidy because it like will spill if I like tilt it over, but it is so cool and it feels so good on the skin. And I actually just saw it in Sephora when I was just there. And I didn't even know that this brand was sold at Sephora. I thought it was a direct to consumer brand. So that's really cool. And obviously the Sephora sale is going on still. I think it ends next Monday. So once this vlog is posted, you can still get like the sale. And I just got 20% off. Shout out to my sister because I always use her account because she always has the 20% off. I used to buy everything at Sephora, but now I don't know. I just feel like I haven't been buying makeup a ton recently so whenever I do buy pretty much everything at Sephora it's always during the sale unless I'm having like a random urge to like watch makeup tutorials and buy like random things um then I'll just put it on my own account so I can like rack up the points and get my gift so I did use her account for that which was so clutch but I'm gonna make some lunch I am probably gonna just eat something frozen honestly I found this in the fridge it's from H-E-B some curry sounds pretty good to me so i think that's what we're gonna heat up all right sephora haul i got some sunscreen stuff i'm telling what's ryan that? he needs to start using sunscreen because he plays golf all day and i'm worried i don't want you to be a wrinkly old grandpa at the age of 40 you know because <laughs> i don't okay but i got some mineral powder to put on after i do my makeup and then i also got refreshing mist to also put on after i do my makeup because i feel like the sunscreen, like you just have to re reapply throughout the day. I have the unseen sunscreen and the glow screen, but I put that under my makeup. So then I got these <laughs> eyeshadows. <laughs> um, these are from Ilya, and I couldn't choose which color. So I got Umber and Sheen, and this is what they look like on my hand. And it's going to look so pretty with like a blown out smoky brown look. And then last thing is I got this Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I tried this in college and I actually really liked it. I was just like into trying out new foundations. So I never repurchased it. But I'm actually doing a brand deal with them. So you'll see them on my stories, my Instagram stories. Yeah. And I got a color match at Sephora. I feel like I'm so bad at color matching myself. So that's why I made sure to go in and like have some help. Because <laughs> I feel like if I did it, it would have been too dark or too just not my color. So I think I did get like a little bit of a darker shade. I just told her that I would, you know, get a little bit tanner throughout the summer. So I didn't want too light of a color so I could actually use it during the summer. But that is all I got. I got 20% off all of it, which was awesome. But I also thought I was going to buy more. Like, I just felt like there was going to be new products that I wanted to try. And I just didn't really feel the need to buy anything. So that's a good thing. Because also, I just, like, decluttered my bathroom. And I know in my heart I don't need anything else. But I always like to play with new products. So it's really hard walking into Sephora and you know, walking out with not that much, <laughs> especially during the Sephora sale. I'm gonna go wet my beauty blender and film these Instagram stories. I feel like so productive today and it just makes me so happy. Later today, I only have one grad session. Usually I have two back to back, but one of the girls had to switch her dates. So I have an hour and a half shoe and I get to start a little bit later than usual. So I have even more time to do things and it just makes me feel really good. Like at first, I think, two days ago i was feeling real stressed because i have like a lot of sponsorships this month which i'm so freaking grateful for but also i am going to italy in literally what like 10 days so i don't even have like the whole month to film all this like i have like literally well hopefully like less than 10 days because i want to tie up all the loose ends like a little before i go just so i'm not like stressed up until the day of um but yeah, I, I just want to like get everything done before that so I can just chill and pack and get ready for the trip. I am just like so nervous. I don't know why. I just like don't feel like it's real that I'm going to Italy. And it's going to be me and Ryan's first international trip. I don't know if I've already said that. Well, actually, we went to the Grand Caymans, but that doesn't really count because it's like right here. But 
I mean like going to Europe, like all the way over there. So it's gonna be really fun. And I did check the weather in, in Positano, it's gonna be like 60 degrees, which is still freaking cold. And I've been buying clothes and all of them are like short sleeves, like very summery, springy. So I'm just like, great. And I get cold really easily, but at least in Rome and Florence, it shouldn't be that cold. Let's see. Okay, in Rome right now it's 54, but when we get there, it's gonna be like 73. Just filmed the foundation stories, but now I'm gonna do the full face and then finish it up. But I wanna try the Ilia eyeshadow on camera. I just got done doing foundation, concealer, uh, cream contour, and then I'm gonna do some cream eyeshadow. I should probably get a mirror. I think I should probably blend it out with my finger. It looks so pretty already. <laughs> Definitely needs to be blended out though. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Can you even tell? Oh yeah, it's so pretty. It's like so subtle when you blend it out. And I feel like it's going to look so good with a brown smoky eye on top. Okay, I feel like you can't really tell. There we go. Can you see that? Little shimmer. <laughs> Here's the final makeup look and I'm honestly so happy that I got this freaking foundation because I forgot how good it is. It literally is so good. It's like very skin-like. It's medium coverage, which I usually am more of a full coverage gal, but... It's buildable, so I love it. It looks really good. Yay! Okay, now I am going to take some time to just like clean up and get my shit together. I feel like I've been really productive, but I also need a clean house to be more productive. So I should probably also do my laundry because there's a pile waiting for me to attend to. <laughs> Apparently it's really nice out, so we're going to go on a walk on south congress so this is the fit i just actually opened this jacket up i'm in love it's from amazon and it like snatches me in i am obsessed it's like this heathered gray look and then got my aloe hat just wearing that same set active set that i was wearing earlier this morning but I'm gonna bring sophie and we'll have a nice little walk before my grad shoot. shoot came home and decided I wanted Garrow's because we were on South Congress earlier and I just remembered how much I love their raspberry margarita um, so we're gonna go there and I also love their tacos good morning it is Thursday coming to you live from my car because I got to a shoot literally like 20 minutes early and I'm just like still kind of waking up from the morning um, even though I've been up for kind of a long time it's it's about to be 8 it's 7 53 and I think I woke up at like 6 50 or something um, but we're shooting at a new location today we're gonna go to Mayfield Park and I've never shot here before I think you had to have a reservation but I'm not sure if she had to pay for it so I'm kind of curious because it looks like you can just like walk right in so I don't know maybe you just had to like notify them that you were taking photos but I am excited to like kind of shoot somewhere new because <sighs> I've been shooting at UT every single day so you know it definitely gets monotonous um but today is a very heavy shoot day i have this shoot ends at nine then i have a maternity shoot at three and then a senior session at 5 30 so i have like a small window in between and well nine to three 
doesn't sound that small but I feel like if you think about it I'll get home at like 9:30. I'll probably have to leave by 2 30. I have to eat lunch and breakfast in there somewhere and then I just am probably gonna make today an admin day just because I feel like I have a lot of photos to edit and then also I still haven't really like finalized buying things for Italy um, just like outfits and stuff and I know that the shipping day is not going to be pretty because it's like I'm waiting too long, you know? It's literally like, what day is it? Mm -hmm. The 7th and I leave on the 16th and obviously I'd like it by the 15th so I could pack it into my suitcase. Um, so I'm thinking about doing Rent the Runway because I think you can get eight items at a time. And then I can just like get really nice pieces um, or possibly buy from Revolve but like I've never really gotten much from there I think I've like purchased a couple times like my gold day shorts and stuff like that but like actual clothes and I literally was just talking to someone um, about their grad dresses and I was like oh like where is it from she said Revolve and she was just telling me that like a lot of the quality is just not what you'd expect for that high of a price and like what the hell like it's so expensive like how how are you even like questioning the quality of the product so that was kind of interesting to me um but yeah we're gonna figure it out today and i need to like actually just buy stuff or we can probably go shopping this weekend but the masters are on this weekend i literally had to put it in my calendar like months ago because i can't remember what we did last year but i just remember ryan being like the masters are on i can't do anything so this year i put it in my calendar so that i don't plan anything <laughs> um so this weekend's gonna definitely be a chill one but i think it's gonna be much needed especially before just like prepping for italy and honestly just prepping the house i still need to film an apartment tour so i'm definitely gonna try to get that done this weekend I haven't vlogged that much, so you literally just make, saw me making a smoothie, but I'm gonna make some coffee now, because Ryan taught me how to use this espresso, and yeah, and we bought like the good creamers, so I put a little thingy in there. He says to use this one. I don't know what that means, but it's a Starbucks one. So we're gonna use a little one, and then Press the green button, make sure your cup's under. We've definitely done that where the cup was not to that. And then it goes. Um, but I've just been filming some sponsored content. I feel like, especially this week, I filmed so much sponsored content and I'm not even like filming like just regular content, which is horrible because it's like all on TikTok and I can't have just sponsorships all up in each other, you know what I mean? So I need to like get some regular content going but I also need to film the video because that's like a really tight turnaround and that's a sponsored video which is like crazy because I feel like I don't even get sponsored videos that much or like YouTube videos so I need to do that but I also am waiting on the things like they overnighted the um, pieces for me to use in the video so it should be coming by 7 p.m. tonight but I have a shoe until like 7 30 and then I won't have like good light so I think I'm gonna try to film like 
what I can right now. That's why I'm trying to make coffee. I felt myself getting a little sleepy, so I was like, we're gonna kill it and knock shit out today. But we still have that laundry on our floor waiting for us to do. I've not touched it. I've not even like looked at it once. We just like ignore it. <laughs> but that also needs to get done today. Um, what else? Tonight, I actually have a shoot at three because I'm doing a maternity shoot in someone's home and then I'm gonna go do my grad shoots. I think I only have one grad shoot, but a longer one. Oh wait, no, I have a senior shoot, a two hour one. Oh lordy, today is gonna be a long day. Literally, I was telling Ryan, yesterday I felt like I lived nine lives because I was up so early doing a grad shoot, then I got coffee, then I, I don't even know what I was doing yesterday. But basically, <laughs> I'm being productive this week, which is great because I don't want next week to be super stressful, especially like right before going to Italy. Like I want to focus on prepping, packing and all of that kind of stuff and not sponsored content. So I'm trying to get it all done this week. These are the two creamers that Ryan's put in my coffee before and I liked it. So I just don't know how much though because like there's not that much like actual espresso in there. So shoot. Also, I don't think I told you guys this, but I really want to try and get Gel X for my trip because I've been doing press-ons and I love the press-ons and I think I said this, but these are my favorite press-ons that I've done. They're the Olive and June ones and they look so amazing. And honestly, I think they even could look like Gel X, but I just don't want them to like come off during my trip and me being like really frustrated. So I'm gonna go get Gel X. I think I'm gonna make an appointment at the domain somewhere called M. Vince, people have been recommending. So I am excited to try it out. I've never gotten like fake extra nail. What is it called? Like acrylics or anything? It's always been my real nail that I put gel dip on. So it'll be interesting seeing how that is done because in the past i'm just like i'll never get like the fake nail added because it like ruins your nails but literally i'm here doing like anything i ever want to my nails and ruining them so i don't really care anymore i'm just gonna do it and see if i like it but i know it's gonna be expensive but i'm not really too mad about it because i want to i want to splurge on these nails since i'll have them in italy and and uh i want them to look really good so okay Ryan, how much of each one should I put in here? You put the one in the summer. Oh shoot, the salted one? Yeah. But I put the sweet cream in here, straight in here? Yeah, I just thought I could tell she just the color you like. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I forgot. So let's open this one up first. Because he says he puts this one in the, what's it called? Foamer? It's not a, called a foamer, is it? Milk frother. Oh yeah, milk frother. Okay, Ooh. okay. So we have this one. I'm pretty sure this is an espresso brand too. Yeah. Okay, gonna fill it up a little bit. Okay. And then I need to put it back on there, but you hold it down and it turns blue, and that means it's gonna froth it to be like cold froth, not warm froth. There we go. And then I'm going to put just the sweet cream in here. He said, until it gets to the color you like. A little less. Oh, <laughs> he said a little less. <laughs> I feel like this is good enough. Okay, good on that one. And then we'll wait till the foam stops. I was just telling Ryan that I feel like awkward sometimes because... I'll like film like a brand sponsorship TikTok and then I feel like it's not good enough because it like didn't take too long to film or just like do I need more text over it and then I was also thinking like if you try too hard on TikTok like it's not going to perform well so I just don't want it to look like I'm not doing like enough to the brand if that makes sense but also like I can't do too much because then it's just not gonna not gonna be good so it's just like a weird kind of like transition into like vertical video for sure okay so I think the froth is done the masters is on the whole weekend okay Here. 
Okay. <coughs> this is what it looks like. If it was up to me, I would have it a little bit lighter, but you know what? I think there's enough sugar in here, so I think we're fine. Actually, I'm not going to straw it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Just a little more. A little more. Okay. I swear, every time I order chai or matcha or anything, I always have to ask for more simple syrup because... I just need it a little more sweet. I might as well mix it up with this. Much better. <laughs> I'm about to head out to my last two shoots of the day. I have an hour between the shoots because I didn't know where the first house was gonna be, but it ended up just being like 15 minutes south of me. But then I have to go north, I think, for my last shoot, so it kind of ended up working out. Um, and I'm just gonna take my laptop so I can start editing the video that I just filmed. I am literally so proud of myself today. And even yesterday, like this whole week has been insanely more productive than any other week I've had in a very long time. So I'm very happy with myself. And I'm just, like I said, I just want everything to be done by this weekend at least or maybe like mid next week, latest. My shoot ended at 7.30, got home, and I have been just uploading all of the photos from yesterday and today and uploading them into my gallery. Dinner tonight, I made myself an egg sandwich. I don't know why I was craving it. Today I didn't really eat that much, which was weird because I didn't even like feel hungry. I have a package to open with you guys. Um, Bang Cookies sent me some cookies and we're gonna do a taste test. Smile, you just got cookies. A big ass bag of cookies. Oh, wow. You can freeze them up to three months and then you can like heat them up in the oven or the microwave. Sea salt chocolate chunk. I feel like that might be my favorite. Triple chocolate. Macadamia white chocolate chunk. S'mores cookie. That looks very interesting. We got an oatmeal raisin. See, I, I hate on nuts, but I don't hate on raisins because they're actually pretty good. Um, this is caramel sea salt. Wait, what was the other one? Sea salt chocolate chunk or caramel sea? Oh, this might be my it's favorite. Three of these. Okay, wait, should we open both of them? The, mm. No, wait. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there's no way I like, will eat all of these and I don't actually want to open all of them. So we're just gonna try the sea salt chocolate chunk. You gave me a little corner. Can you get the you middle? Whoa. Yeah, heat it up that long. How long did you heat it up for? Like 10 seconds. They are better heated up. Mm-hmm. They're really good. Mm. So yum. <laughs> I had to get milk. I was like, taste of one cookie. I was like, I need milk. It's lactate milk though. It doesn't matter. It does. Mm. Fun fact, I tried eating Oreos with mm. oat milk. <laughs> and you know, I'm a big dunker. Like, I'm not eating the Oreo until the whole thing's mushy. And the Oreos did not dissolve in my oat milk, which was so weird. And I was like, why aren't they dissolving? And I was like asking Ryan, like, are your Oreos dissolving? Because he has his own regular milk, like, regular, regular. What's it called? 2% milk. 2% <laughs> milk. So I was like, are yours dissolving? And he was like, yeah, it's probably your oat milk. I was like, what the fuck? I was so mad. And like, I don't know, like I thought Oreos would just dissolve in water. Wait, why was I just about to dump this cookie water. in my milk? Yeah, like what? Like when an Oreo touches like liquid, wouldn't it just like dissolve? That's what I always thought. You dunk yours in water? What? You dunk yours in water? No, but I'm just saying yeah. like, I thought it would just dissolve in any kind of liquid, you know? Viscosity is different. Now I know. But anyways, lactate milk is so good. Happy Friday. I am literally starting the vlog off at like 7.53 p.m. because I, what the fuck did I even do today? Do you ever just have those days where you're like so busy that you're just like, I couldn't tell you one thing I did, but I will try to name some. It might be a little noisy because we live like right on the street, but in the morning I went to go shoot my blogger client. Her name's Shruti and she is having her third baby. So we shot the gender reveal reel because she is really into reels right now. Like her reels do amazing for her. So we shoot a lot of reels whenever we're together. And then 
I came home and I had to finish up a sponsored video which I just posted today which honestly I've been wanting to do this video for so long and when the brand reached out to me I thought it would be a perfect video for it to like be organically talked about so I shared things that elevate my life and just have changed my life especially during post-grad and I'm really proud of the video just because I feel like it's a good one so definitely go and watch it I'm not just saying that because it's sponsored but also you know whenever things are sponsored or even on my Instagram feed and stories I always appreciate you guys just like liking or like clicking on the links it really does mean the world to me but yeah so I did that video today I had to do a reel too that was like a really tight turnaround and that almost never happens and I was gonna turn it down because honestly I just feel like I'm getting a little overwhelmed these days but I have worked with them before um, so I wanted to just kind of keep the partnership going and so yeah that happened today and then what else I took like a 20 minute nap before my grad shoot and I never shoot on Fridays really unless it's like a blogger shoot I usually just do those in the morning um, with a few of my clients but other than that I don't usually do grad shoots and I did one today because I had to reschedule her and that was on me so I was just like whatever I'm just gonna shoot her on Friday and that's totally fine because I figured the Masters is on today and Ryan would just be occupied with that but he's actually out playing golf right now I don't know when the Masters ends every day so I just like blocked the whole weekend and made sure not to plan anything too crazy and also I feel like I just need to get the apartment all together it's like a mess right now because there's so many packages everywhere maybe we can unbox some Amazon packages together because I got some stuff for Italy and just our trip in general. First, we're gonna start off with an Amazon package and I thought it was all Amazon packages, but I realized it's not. So, that's even more exciting. Okay, so, first up, I got some storage bags. I can't remember who told me about this, but basically, they recommended me to just get, oh, my friend Jackie. She told me to get these for like my winter coats so I could store them away and make so much more space. Apparently these are life changing. I'm gonna link these down below. Um, but yeah, basically like it can look like that into that, which is insane. Cause my coats are like puffers, they're huge. So I wanted to get something that just makes spring cleaning a little bit easier. And then, oh, well, there's a lot in here. Okay, this is a fun one. I got a mini straightener from my favorite straightening brand, straightener brand, whatever, hair tool brand. Um, it is called Babyless, and I feel like this is the best straightener that I've ever, ever owned. And it's like, this is the size of my hand, and this is how small the straightener is, and it feels like nothing. And I thought this would be perfect for travel, because I never know which to pack. Like, should I do the straightener or the curler, or just one, or just both? So, now that I have a little mini one, I don't have to choose because I definitely like my hair curled, but sometimes like my hair looks really good straight too. So, I want to have the option, but I don't want to weigh my suitcase down with a straightener. And plus, like it doesn't really take that much to straighten my hair, especially after I like I wash it and it's dried. So, next up, I got some what are these called? converters yeah for an outlet i got like a three pack of them i remember outlet thingies or converters being so expensive back in the day but now on amazon i think i got that for maybe under like 30 for three which was really good and it also kind of sketches me out because i'm like okay well, is that gonna like blow out a fuse i think the last time i was in italy what what broke one of my hair tools but i can't remember which one i think i had to like no wait it was literally my straightener oh shoot oh shoot it was literally my straightener and i remember i had to like send it in to get it fixed because luckily it had like warranty on it and then i got these cool sunglasses i'm obsessed with amazon sunglasses especially this brand i feel like you've probably heard of them or seen them on amazon but they are so good even Ryan the other day was like wearing one of mine and he was like these are actually really good and I'm like Amazon and he's like a sunglass junkie like he actually gets like the UV protection and like all that kind of stuff but this is what these look like I think they're so cute and I want to bring like a couple to Italy just so I have like options to choose from guys I do not know how I'm gonna pack lightly because I just don't see that happening so I'm really not sure how that's all gonna go down we're gonna hope for the best and then the next thing is 
an olive oil bottle. I've actually been wanting to like style my kitchen for a really long time. And the first piece that I got to do that was a while ago. I got this off of Amazon actually. It's kind of like this vintage cutting board and I've seen these like styled against the backsplash. I kind of want to get another one. I feel like it looks a little bit lonely on its own and people would like layer the vintage cutting boards on top of each other on the backsplash and it looks so good. And it's kind of nice because I use it to like hide one of the outlets whenever I'm filming um, videos in the kitchen. But I want to style the kitchen counter so I got this olive oil dispenser and I just thought it would be cuter and also easier to just like pour a little bit because my olive oil thing just dispenses so much at a time. Okay, so that was Amazon. Let's move into Petal and Pup. So I'm actually really excited because they reached out and they said, do you want to create some content for us? And I think I talked about this in my last vlog, but I've been doing a lot more of that where I don't even have to post anything, but they pay me to take the pictures or to do a TikTok for their channels. So that's kind of cool. So they sent over some clothes. Well, I actually got to pick these because um, I'm going to be shooting some like high quality photos in them. So let's see if they look like in person. I also was just in my car listening to country music, which I feel like I haven't really listened to that much here in Texas because there's not many good country news stations compared to Georgia at least. And it just made me want to take a freaking girls trip to Nashville. Like it gave me that vibe and I was like, I literally need to be in Nashville like next week because it's so fun there. At least the couple of times I've been there have just been so fun. I think I've been three times now. Okay, so this is one of the tops. This is gonna be a set. Actually, both of them are set. At first I was looking at it and I was like, mm, it's kind of not my vibe because I'm not really a floral gal, but like the orange would just like look so good on my skin. So I wanted to try it out and kind of just see if I like it on. This is gonna be pretty. I might bring this to Italy because I feel like that would look really pretty. Also, in Rome and Florence, it's gonna be like warm or like good weather, really nice weather, like 70s, I think. And then in Positano, it's gonna be so cold and I'm dreading it. And I'm just really sad about it because like I wanted to wear all these like really pretty, like dainty floor, not floral, definitely not floral, but like, Flowy, that's what I meant. Flowy outfits, and I just feel like I'm going to need to bring sweaters, which also won't be a good thing when I'm trying to pack light because sweaters weigh a lot. So that'll be fun. <laughs> but this is the next set. So this is a skirt, and I just really like the details. I'm definitely gonna have to steam it, especially because I'm gonna like, you know, give these photos to them, and I'm not just like you know, putting it on for a TikTok. This is the matching top. So it's kind of like a high neck top, which I think is so gorgeous. I actually made an order on Free People, which I feel like I don't really buy stuff from Free People that often, but I was like, mm, let's go all out for Italy. <laughs> First, we have this jumpsuit. This is gonna look so good. Oh my God, there's a bow in the back. I didn't even realize. Okay, so it's kind of like the stone color and it is a jumpsuit, so has like the pants, which is gonna be very like perfect for just like the trip in general. I could wear like a sweater if I get cold and it has adjustable straps. This is gonna be so nice and the quality is so good too. I'm so excited. And then, let's see. Okay, I got a band tee, which this was a pricey band tee, so I'm hoping that this is the most comfortable freaking band tee ever. Oh wait. It low key is. Wait, that's nice. What the hell? This is really nice. Okay, so this is what it says on it. The Beach Boys. Don't ask me if I know their songs. I mean, I probably do, but you know, I couldn't name one. <laughs> I did buy two pairs of jeans and I think this is why I actually made the order in the first place because this is the only place that had these jeans in stock. But these are the Rolla's original high rise straight jeans. And they're just white jeans. I was really looking for just like a raw hem at the bottom. So I'm really excited to put these on. I actually got two sizes in this because I didn't have time to like return them and then order another one. So I got two sizes and then I'll just return the other pair. Last is another set. I feel like everything is just going to be a set that I wear in Italy. But this is the front. So it's just kind of like this really nice quality. Oh my god. Like 
I used to never spend this much on clothes. Like this was, well, I think the set was right under a hundred dollars. These are the shorts, but yeah, I never used to spend this much on clothes, but you know, things get tempting when you have adult money. It's a totally different world to be honest. And it, it still kills me, but then I also want higher quality pieces at the same time. Like, you know, one of these days I'm gonna have to start really investing in my clothes. And I feel like the jumpsuit and even the set is very neutral so I can rewear it and not like worry about repeating my outfits as much because you won't really be able to tell. And that's kind of like why I try to stay away from too many prints, too many florals, even colors. I feel like people will be able to tell that you have reworn it, which is not a big deal, but especially if you are doing content creation, it's so much easier to just like mix and match if you just stick to like neutrals and kind of like basics like that.